Oh, hi, welcome back to my channel. So good news for everyone who's been requesting this video because this is highly requested. Today we're going to talk about Caitlyn Bennett. Now, I feel like whenever you make a video about someone as polarizing as Caitlyn Bennett, I feel like half the people clicking are going to be bloodthirsty and wanting me to rip her to shreds, and the other half are going to be wanting me to praise her as a queen and defend her to the hilt. And I'm here to say if you're looking for either of those videos, it probably isn't the one for you. I have a very nuanced opinion on Caitlyn. But really quickly, I just want to say I have a tour coming soon. I'm working on it. It's self-funded. I am so excited, but I need to know exactly where to go. So I need you guys to click the link in the description. It's a very quick form that I created letting me know what cities to come to. I can't know what cities to book if you guys don't tell me where the hell to go. The link is in the description for you to put in your city. It helps me out so much more than you can ever know. Just open it a new tab. Do it after this video. Do it while you're listening to this video. Whatever you want to do. But please, please, please do that. Anyways, back to Miss Caitlyn Jenner. I almost said Caitlyn Jenner. <laughs> Caitlyn Bennett, okay? So I'm sure you've seen videos of Caitlyn go viral constantly on Twitter. Don't drop that got to go! Hey, hey! Ho, ho! She's gonna eat it! Come the f did you say to me? You know I carry, right? You know I carry, right? I looked at her Twitter and it's crazy because her Twitter, you know, she has a large following and she gets very good engagement, but the videos that people make about her and clips of her get like millions of views on Twitter. And I genuinely can't even remember the last time I saw someone who was this hated on the internet. And I think the reason you guys ask me so much about my opinion on her is because we both are controversial figures online. You know, I do events and I get protested as well. Need I remind you of the banshee that came to my show in San Francisco two weeks ago. <laughs> She is rising to internet notoriety because she goes to campuses. She's a very outspoken Republican and she goes to college campuses, speaks to students, and their reactions to her are very extreme. You don't want to stand there. Hey, you don't I feel like she has two styles of videos. Videos where she can go and have honest conversations that don't end up in craziness. And I've seen those and I actually enjoy watching those. Not because I always agree with her, but because sometimes she does have conversations on her channel that are interesting to me. But then I feel like sometimes she goes into this mode where she specifically goes out on the campuses to piss people off and to incite the reaction that she gets. I am not saying that she deserves violence or anything like that because James Charles actually recently tweeted out um, that she deserves to be assaulted for her opinions, which I actually unfollowed James Charles for saying that. Not because I'm some huge fan of Caitlyn Bennett, but because just on a moral principle level, I don't feel like anyone deserves to be assaulted for their beliefs. And funnily enough, James Charles actually recently hit me up to hang out with him and actually I'm glad I didn't because clearly our morals are not aligned. Caitlyn does not deserve to be assaulted for her opinions no matter how, you know, crazy they may seem to you because the tables can easily be turned back on you if one day your opinions are seen as controversial and crazy and extreme. With that being said, Caitlyn be doing too much sometimes. This one clip comes to mind of her literally following and borderline harassing a child to talk to them about abortion. Hi, sweetie. Hi. Do you know what the number one cause of death in the United States is? It's abortion. No, actually, I... It's abortion. Okay, you have a right to one. Now that to me is just messed up no matter the context because I feel like we don't need to be addressing children. Like, if you want to go debate people, debate people. However, yo-yoing back to the other side because two things can be true at once. The truth can be in the gray area despite how people feel about this is that I also dislike how there are a lot of clips that go viral of her um, that are selectively edited to make her seem worse and or as the aggressor. There are plenty of instances where she is the aggressor, like I said, her ha harassing the kid. One that comes to mind is where she's talking with a woman and the topic is rape and abortion, and that's a popular topic she talks about. And the clip that went viral on Twitter that I saw was selectively edited to take out the horrendous things that the person she was debating was screaming at Caitlyn. You wanna laugh at me like that? I am laughing at you. I hope somebody f holds you down and rapes you. God. So let's just keep it real. No matter how many hundreds of thousands of likes or millions of views were on that tweet, I think it's clear which one of them was the aggressor. And it wasn't Caitlyn. Period. No matter... You don't gotta like the girl. But she was not the aggressor in that situation. Some criticism, honestly, that I have of Caitlyn is that I don't feel like she goes into a lot of situations looking for an honest and 
fair debate in good faith. I feel like she very much capitalizes on freakout videos and in a lot of questions that she asks people on the street are very leading questions, they're manipulative, and it's just very clear she's looking for an over-the-top reaction for YouTube views, which hey, if that's your hustle, that's your hustle, but it's not very honest. Now, I'm someone that does political and social commentary for a living, and I much prefer methods of actually trying to change people's minds, which again, sometimes she does, but most of the time she doesn't, and like actually having a conversation and a debate. That's what I live for. That's what I love. That should be the goal, right? Like, I don't know if that's Caitlyn's goal, but it should be, right? The other thing, though, is I'm not going to sit here and pretend as if it really takes Caitlyn being over the top in her attitude to set all these college students off because I'm someone who has done talks at colleges that have been protested. I'm a trans woman whose opinions are, in my opinion, for the most part, not all but some, are pretty middle of the road opinions, right? I don't feel like I'm extreme at all, but yet I still get violent protesters coming to my shows and I still get people saying they want to harm me. And you guys know that we've been over that. So I'm not going to pretend as if if she were more level headed and less aggressive and less like trying to get a reaction out of someone that those reactions still wouldn't happen because they would. They wouldn't be at the extreme level that she receives, but she would still get it. I think Caitlyn speaks a lot in buzzwords, which is honestly my criticism of the opposition. That's not productive. And I feel like she asks a lot of leading questions that are purposefully inflammatory and not productive questions. There's no answer the person could give you that would be productive. For example, apparently at Ohio University, she asked an African American student, do you ever thank white people for the fact that you aren't a slave. She then goes on to say she identifies as a woman color, but she doesn't. What is the point of asking that question? Like, that is a dumbass question. It makes no sense. She wouldn't be a slave regardless. She wasn't born in an era where slavery was happening. It's literally just a question set up to piss someone off and get a reaction. But you know what you're doing when you ask someone, do you think white people that you're not a slave? Come on now. Because here's actually a compliment to Caitlyn. I think she shines so much more in a civilized, structured debate scenario rather than going on campuses trying to piss people off. She actually went on Logan Paul's podcast and debated Logan and I think two other guys on a variety of issues. And honestly, she made them all look like idiots. She completely rose to the top and granted, there's something to be said for the fact that maybe that's not the hardest thing to make like Logan Paul look like an idiot. But regardless... <laughs> I think it's just the point to say that I think she would be a lot more productive in that form of debate where she made them look like idiots, period. And you can go in the comment section of that debate and, and all the comments are saying like, I may not like her, but she made them like she totally won the debate. And again, that's a really great quality and I wish she would hone in on that more rather than just trying to piss people off. Honestly, I respect the fact that Caitlyn believes in what she believes in and she is willing to argue with it. I just think that the ways in which she does it are more often than not very unproductive and kind of just bad for everyone. And while she's deserving a backlash for a lot of stuff, I think some of it's very over the top and people should probably just chill because these type of like crazy pylons, even if you hate someone, they only really end up in really bad circumstances. Like I, w I don't want to see anyone hurt, whether it be on campus, one of the people protesting her or her. Like if you see Caitlyn Bennett at your campus, just remain calm. Just if you're willing to engage her and debate her, I think that's amazing. And Caitlyn, I think there's a way to stand strong with your beliefs. And I think you need to do that. And I support you being strong in your beliefs. Absolutely. Just maybe change up your style. I don't know. I guess to sum up how I feel about Caitlyn and the reaction people have to her is it's kind of everything wrong with society. It's people unable to control their emotions when like debating people. So all the people freaking out about her and trying to run her out of town. And it's also people who are inciting that reaction because it benefits them monetarily. You know, I think I'm just very optimistic these days that, you know, you can really change people's minds and really talk about important issues without like ignorance from either side. Maybe that's wishful thinking. I don't know. I'm trying to see the good in everyone here. With that being said, make sure you subscribe to my channel. I know you're going to watch four or five more videos anyways. You might as well just subscribe. Be part of the family. I'll love you forever. I have no friends, so I need subscribers. You know? Follow me on Twitter and Instagram if you don't. You're missing out on so much, and half the time YouTube will not notify you of a new video unless you're following me there. Please, please, please do not forget to give me your city and your email in the form in the link below. It helps me out so much, and I cannot wait to see you guys on tour. And I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.